So the first extension that I would recommend you is about awesome flutter snippets. The following extension shall provide you some of key bindings through which you should be able to produce big code. For example, here if I simply write STL, I will be getting the following key binding that is autocomplete of flutter stateless widget and flutter stateful widget. After this, if I try to write here DIS, I will be getting here my dispose method. Also, if I write here init, I will be getting my init state method. So you should be using the following extension of awesome flutter snippets. After having the following extension, if you are a JavaScript developer, I recommend you to use Babel JavaScript for autocomplete and also for unique key bindings. After Babel, you should be using better comments for commenting better. <laughs> yeah, that was a pun. So you should be using better comments for highlighting your must have comments that is over level of 1, 2 or 3 accordingly. And after that, if you are using block as a state management, I would recommend you for using the following extension of block. This extension is provided by the author of block itself. By using this extension, if I move back under my code and try to write here BLOC, I will be getting variety of options for writing all of my block code. For example, I should be using block builder, that is I can use block builder or if I write it again, I can use block consumer with simply key binding after writing BLOC. After having this block, alright let's do this here. So after having block, the following extension of bracket pair colorizer is also a needy one. Here you can see all of my brackets are paired one, that is the following color is pink and this is pink. Similarly for this yellow and yellow. The extension shall be very helpful for us in case of having a big and jargon code. After having bracket pair colorizer, the extension of color highlight is also a needy one. If I move under my colors file, here you can see I will be getting the preview of all of my colors which is due to the extension of color highlight. After that dart which is a most lonely extension that you should be needing for flutter development. And after that in the case of generating polo class. You should be using Dart Data Class Generator, which is currently under a beta version, but sooner it will be under a live one. And after that, if you are a fan of Dracula Official, that is Theme, you should be using Dracula Official itself and Flutter for having the support of Flutter itself. And after that, you should be using Flutter Color for visualizing all of your colors, but I won't recommend you for now. So let's leave it here. And for the integration of Git, that is your Git account, I recommend you to use GitHub, which is official extension itself by the author and after that for all the PRs and issues all right let's go back so for all the PRs and issues you should be using the extension of github p pull request and issues moving forward the next extension that i will recommend you is about image preview if i move under my pathway.assist file that is a yaml file and if i and here you can see for all of my following assets of image i will be seeing the preview of all the images which are available and for now, if I remove G from this side, you can see the following extension will remove the following preview. But after writing G and after hovering over it, you can see the actual image that the following asset gives. After that, the next extension that I will be recommend you is about live server. If you are a full stack developer or a backend developer, with the help of live server, you can simply go live after pressing the following button of go live. After having this thing, Material icon theme is a must one for having better icon themes for our folder structure. Here you can see I have a proper folder structure with the help of material icon theme that is the small icons. After having material icon theme, if you are using MongoDB, the extension from the official website of MongoDB for VS Code is a must needed for watching all of your tables from a VS Code itself. And after that, one dark proof for an awesome theme of VS Code. And after that, the following extension of PostgreSQL shall giving you a preview of, of, of all of your tables available under a database. By far now, if I move under my database, you can see under my public, I have three different tables that is users, migrations and items. So with the help of this extension, you can able to see all of your tables right from your VS code. And Prettier, this is a must have extension for you for having pretty code. After that, Prospect Assist for getting all our dependencies. That is if I move under my pathpeg.yaml file and press ctrl shift and p I will be getting the following palette of pathpeg assist from where I can get any sort of dependency as I want. And after that if I move down I won't recommend you for using a rest client. Instead of having a rest client I recommend you for having the following extension of thunder client. 
Thunder client is very useful for us for testing all of our APIs. Now generally what any developer shall be doing is simply opening his postman that is for testing all of his REST API. And if I go under my Thunder client and create a new request, you can see you can simply get put or post that is do any sort of operations on your REST client within Visual Studio Code. And after that the last extension that I wanna give you is about to do tree. To do tree is very awesome extension for simply managing our to do task. By far now if I go under my extensions under my to do tree, here you can see I have some of the pending tasks under both of the folders of Twitter clone, under Android and under Windows accordingly. So these are some of the most useful extension if you are using Visual Studio Code under your Flutter development. So I hope you have loved this video and if you have did, please hit that like button and also if you are new here, subscribe. Please don't forget to join our discord server and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.